guys, it's Brandon Miniman from Pocketnow.com, and this is a look at a new interface for Windows Mobile called Infinity by a company called AG. And sorry if I'm mispronouncing that. This is an alpha right now, so it's not feature complete, uh, and it may be a little bit buggy, but anyone can download it for free and give it a try. You can kind of get a sense for what the developer has in mind by using the alpha. So to start, here's the unlock screen. It's very simple right now, although the developer wants to make this customizable, so presumably that means you can add various pieces of information to the screen, maybe next appointment or who knows what they have in mind. So I'm just going to unlock here. And then we get a very SPB mobile shell like interface where we have a panel to the left, we can add additional panels, and then a panel to the right. This is actually sort of um, like the HTC Sense interface on an Android device. You have these multiple panels where you can add widgets and that sort of thing. So there's not much you can do with this at this point. Uh, you can tap and hold to add a widget, but right now you can only add a digital clock. And of course, we already have a digital clock, but now there are two. And you can also add programs. So I'm going to tap and hold to make that go away. And actually, I want to delete the clock. So I switch this icon down here to the trash can. I tap on whatever I want to delete, and it goes away. And now I can add things like a shortcut. And there's the little icon. I can drag that around, tap on the icon, and say, I want Excel Mobile here, reposition it, and then I tap and hold to confirm. And you can do that with all of these other panels. Another thing you can do is tap this circle button here to bring up an Android-like program launcher. But this is actually customizable. It doesn't show you all the programs. If you want all the programs, you tap here. And if you want to add a program to your quick launcher, you just press the plus button, check off something pretty quick and easy, and now you have FM radio in this program launcher, which is accessible from any of your panels. So a really quick way to get to programs that you use a lot. Something else that this does is that if you tap here in the notification area, you are able to quickly change the system profile. You can change the volume of the system or the ringer. You can go to vibrate mode if you'd like. You can also go to this task manager, which is quite convenient to have it so easily accessible. And you can close file, file explorer, or any other program that you have opened that may be taking up a lot of uh, memory. You also get some things up here about battery life and uh, your signal strength and the time and the date and things like that. So again, right now, Infinity doesn't do too much, but it's in the early stages of development. And uh, the developer says there are a lot of things coming out, like additional widgets, a lot more customization potential, and uh, even some ways to get wallpapers and different kind of icons uh, downloaded from their website. So I'll post a link on pocketnow.com on how to get Infinity, and you can try it for yourself. That's it for now.